Gary, a share of the points at Oakview today. What were your thoughts on the match? Yeah, listen, we're frustrated um, because I thought our first half performance was as good as we maybe played. We played really, really well, created numerous chances, had complete control of the game, apart from maybe 40 to 45 minutes. The biggest disappointment was we only scored one goal. You know, so that's a frustration. I actually thought um, Clyde started the second half a little bit better than us, but we got the second goal. We were two 0 up, and normally we would expect to go on and win the game. But you have to give Clyde credit. You know, they changed their shape. They went for it. They got a goal back. It put us on the ropes a little bit. And then, if I'm being honest, which I try to be, I thought for the last 30 minutes Clyde were the team on top, and it actually ended up us hanging on to get a, a point, which we done. So, you know, I'm grateful that we actually got a point in the end, but obviously very disappointed that we never got three. So very, very mixed emotions, really, because when you're tuned, it is a, a difficult scoreline, but at 2-0 up at home, I would normally expect us to go on and get the three points. I think there's things that we can do better at that stage, but I also think this is one time where you've got to give the opposition a bit of credit. And um, Clyde certainly didn't play like a team that were at the bottom of the table today. They played really, really well. And on another day may actually have won it in the last couple of minutes so we need to just learn from it move on say to the players listen we can't win every game and when you have an indifferent performance we've got to learn from it and that's the biggest thing so that's what we'll try and do Matty Yates gets his first, first goal of the season how can he kick on from here? Yeah listen he's a quality player and it's just a surprise that he's no scored and I think it's been eating him up a little bit but I think that will get him he'll be up and running now and uh, you know sometimes with strikers they go and run where they score they, they, they go a while without scoring in the score so hopefully that will happen we uh, just took him off really to try and get a little bit of fresh legs on we went with two actual up front in the last 10 minutes just to actually stop the ball coming forward for Clyde but it didn't work you know and, and sometimes Clyde just had the momentum and, and we found it difficult especially when they got the equaliser and obviously on top of that as well we've gave away two uncharacteristic goals you know it's two goals that we'd like to think we can do better with so we'll look at them and, and try and get back to being a solid defence again Good to see Kingley building back in the pitch after his wee knock Yeah listen he, he trained on Thursday and it was a tough decision but you know Edens came into the team done well played two games two clean sheets scored the winner last week very difficult to leave him out you know obviously but having Kinley back will be great we're hopeful that Marley will be back next week and Jordan as well so you know it gets us back a little bit stronger obviously Ross is going to boot for a period of time which is a big blow um, we'll try and get him back as quick as we can but you know he's got to boot for a, a period of time so um, you know we're comfortable where we're with the squad we've not picked up any injuries today that I know of and we're going to Elgin away next week difficult game we're travelling um, and what goes with it back onto a grass pitch but we go in knowing that if we can get a positive result that's been a very strong first quarter and that's what we've got to aim to try and do perfect guy thank you very much cheers